in this ACC Big Ten Challenge presented by 989 Sports. Wake Forest with a win. Clemson with the win. 2 nothing. ACC. They won it last year. 5-4. to four. Welcome, everybody. I'm Dave Sims along with Bill Raffer. Glad you're with us. And tonight, Billy, we get a look at Luke Rector in his new surroundings having come from Indiana by way of Arizona. They like him very much here at Iowa. And why not? He's very comfortable. The offensive philosophy, very similar to Indiana. A lot of cuts, a lot of screens. He's wonderful without the ball. The difficulty, I think, for Paul Ewitt and his team is to tag him. He also can put it on the floor, so there's a danger there where he can penetrate and kick. Tremendous contrast in styles here this evening. A big Iowa club, a lot of new faces on that team. And for Georgia Tech, they got a new coach. Tell you about him in a second. Take a look at their starting lineup. Aikens, Fine, Babel, Lewis, and Alvin Jones, a big guy. Terrific shot blocker, one of the all-timers in the ACC. And for Iowa, Dean Oliver, familiar face from a year ago, struggling with his shooting so far, joined by Wrecker, Henderson, Evans, and the freshman, the 6'11", Jared Reiner. Head coach is Steve Alford in his second year here at Iowa, and boy, has he had a successful career. Indiana University Hall of Famer, captain. He was an NCAA champion, an Olympic champion. Also has done a good job in his coaching resume. We'll detail that, too. Also a rising star, Paul Hewitt, in his first season at Georgia Tech after turning around the program at Siena up in Albany, New York. Well, Paul, very well thought of. A lot of people had mentioned him the last couple of years. They get up and down. They press. Uh, the challenge will be to get back and make sure they don't give these open looks to a good shooting Iowa team, particularly with the ball in Luke Rucker's hand. Good officiating crew tonight. Tom Rucker and his 29th year working with Mike Sanzier and Ed Hightower. There's Tom. Going to give it another year and a half, and then he's going to hang him up. Ooh, don't let me hear that. And <laughs> Iowa goes, man, man, Dave Sims. Aikens, here's Babel. You've seen his twin brother. Mike at UMass over the years. Babel going hard. Offensive foul. Jared Reiner with a nice read. You got to be under control. So typical of Steve Alford, the ability to step in, something they work hard on. And, of course, he had to do that when he played for Bob Knight at Indiana. Sure enough, two-time All-American, three-time All-Big Ten, Steve Alford. And here's the press. They front the inbound. Key is to make sure you present passing lanes. Of course, you beat it with the dribble, you get some opportunities. Wrecker draws contact. Traveling violation turns it over. And that certainly any problem that you cause with this press, even a jump shot that's missed, is in the favor of Georgia Tech. They like that rat -tat 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 game. Paul Hewitt, 37 years old. He's a finalist for the St. John's job a couple of years ago. Mike Jarvis eventually won, and certainly Mike has had super success with the Red Storm. Great package here at Paul Hewitt. A lot of style, depth. There's Aiken being guarded by Oliver. Good shooter right here and fine. John Fine, a little short, shot an air ball, taken down. Get a second opportunity, here comes Rector. Rector in the hot guys run. From behind, almost tipped away. Oliver gets a clean look at it. That's a oh, clean, he hits it. If he makes that, what a dimension. If he gets that consistency this year with that spot-up jumper, watch out. Just his fourth three of the early season. The Hawkeyes 2-0. Oh. He's only shooting 36% from the field. They go inside to the big guy, and that's going to be a big factor tonight. Alvin Jones, 6'11". He's averaging just under 17 a game. Well, the dribble can be your best friend. Aikens, well, not a good look here as Babel jams it. you got to sometimes say the guy beat me and let it go, but if Aikens can break the D down, Jones will be smiling all night. So two quick fouls on Babel. We haven't played two minutes yet. Paul Hewitt has to go to his bench. Robert Brooks, the freshman forward from Saginaw, Michigan, comes in. They will sell a lot of programs at Georgia Tech. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to get to know the last people on the bench because, Paul, you lace them up, you play. The 10 guys averaging double-figure minutes. Here's a steal. Big guy, Jones. Pretty good. Leaves nice. it for Jones and a flush. Well done. Nice Ayo. set up by Brooks. How smart was Jones? Gave it up so he didn't charge. You bet. They, they, they promised a new look, and so far, I'm impressed with Alvin. Marvin Lewis, of course, with the feed there. As Oliver breaks the pressure. And there goes straight to man. Wrecker with Oliver in the backcourt. Now watch the screens and the movement off the basketball. Well, they love this guy. Classic power forward. Turns it over. Now, Oliver, Pretty nice hard. inside. Back to Evans. They'll take the next step with the left hand. Yeah, they got really done by Reggie Evans. I think he kept that pivot foot and, and walked or moved the front foot, which is a pretty good play. Five to four, Iowa. 
Baseline double. Go inside to Jones. Turns on the freshman and scores. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? What else do you need? Four. A couple of scouts here will be right that down. Why and not? He stayed four years. Maybe this is it. Paul promised he would push him. And certainly, if he's in shape, he's a different player. Turnover. Aikens back the other way. Nice oh. feed. Lewis, that was intended for fine. Too many people, huh? And Lewis intercepted it. And here, we talked about a lot of substitution. T.J. Vines comes in right now. 5'10", senior guard out of Woodstock, Georgia. That fast break reminds you of your mother in the sense that uh, too many cooks spoil the broth, right? <laughs> no question. Stay out of the kitchen. Let me run the show. Too many guys in that lane. Full court pressure by the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Loose ball. Nicely done by Fine. Jones sets him up. They got to pass it, Dave, up the floor, I think, Iowa. Fines over the top, his first touch. They keep it alive, contact. And a foul on Georgia Tech. They could take your pick, right? Yeah. Fine, maybe, or Brooks. Yeah, yeah, they get fine. That'll be his first. See, here's the push, Dave. I think you've got to look up the floor and post and turn. I mean, this is a case of too much bounce, and it'll get you in trouble. You made a good point about folks down in Atlanta. Get those programs early. Reiner in a little bit of trouble. Gets it to Oliver. And good control right here. Oliver going to take it. Try to leave it for Evans. Let Evans know nice catch. Jones takes over. Back from the Jackets. They got numbers three on two. A very nice, deep shooter. I mean, this is where they can be tough. They spread the floor. They look for the threes if you give it to them as well on the delay. Once again, they got another left-hand point guard. We're at number three. Here's a big guy, Jones, wheeling on the freshman and gets the roll. I'm surprised. They're going to have to make an adjustment and scrape down on the big guy. And he's putting it on the floor. Nobody's coming on the pass or on the bounce. So Steve Alford's tough. He knew the pressure was going to come. We saw that in the shoot-around today. They worked a lot on that. Well, the whole conversation today, now, here, Dave, you either got to come on the pass or the bounce. And you can just see nobody in the area puts a lot of pressure on Reiner. I mean, he's a young player, inexperienced in the post-defense. And Jones, what a great start for him. Yeah, no question about it. Lewis, deep corner's good. Hey, this Paul Hewitt's teams will shoot a lot of threes. They're confident. He's giving them the green light. It's not just one guy. The perimeter people all have that. As a team, granted it's early season, 3-0, and oh, but they're shooting 51% from deep. Here's record. Teeing it up from long range. Won't go. Rebound. Jones got a piece. Georgia Tech breaks out. And there was the post up there, and they got a good clean look. T.J. Vines at the controls right now for the Yellow Jackets. See, they slipped that double post. Now they pop out, get a high-low going. Top Brooks looking for the big guy, Jones foul off the ball and they get a foul on Halston Lane freshman out of Oak Ridge Tennessee they our first time out here Paul Hewitt's Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets 11-5 over Iowa here in the ACC Big Ten Challenge first ever meeting between Georgia Tech and Iowa and Tech leads at 11-5 and let's give you an idea of what to expect from a Paul Hewitt Coach Ball Club, Bill Raftery. Well, he loves to get it going up and down. This is his style. A lot of points. So you just see their field goal percentage because they get turnovers, get easy looks, or either the layup. How about this? This is incredible. Generally, I'd say 50% would be terrific. They get 68% assists. Ten players average 10 minutes. You know where this all started? One in high school for you. Two, they're going to have to get a timeout here and get a 10-second violation. They're pushing that clock. Fines. Cuts off Worley. Worley in trouble right in front of us. Almost. Oliver bails him out. And the second place he watched Villanova decimated by Kentucky was an assistant, and he loved the style of play as Worley gets to the rim. Worley shot an air ball. Put back Evans. No. Sounder leader. No. Evans will try again. Got it that time. Well, they got to work and pound that they must play half court basketball. I know it's tempting when you beat pressure. The idea of, and I almost said Sienna. The, yeah. idea of, yeah. Yeah, the idea of Georgia Tech with Paul Hewitt is to force you mentally into quickness, into mistakes of judgment. But you must use your power, people, and get it inside. You can see the aggressive style of play. You've got to eliminate the inside people. With Jones out of the game, take advantage. What a package. Reggie Evans is 6'8", 245. Got an 11-8 Georgia Tech lead. And they want him to play power forward. They don't want him to play center at all. That's right. Sunderlighter will be the sub-center right now. Fines. There's Lewis with a step. Pull up. Won't go. Hack the glass. And Evans comes down with it. Sunderlighter had no shot, huh? Yeah. 
There's no way. Now, this is where I think they can excel. Run your sets and make Georgia Tech play defense. Well, they're harassing Oliver. They're all over. Nice oh. pass behind the back. Kicked off. Now, they, turnover. It, it was there, too, Dave. He yeah. just didn't have enough heat on his pass. And then Oliver... Acknowledges the good call by Ed Hightower. First foul on Dean. Not too many people agreed with Ed's call. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is one of the great atmospheres here. And, oh, it's amazing. And talk about a guy that's uh, highly thought of. Every place you go, if you mention you know Steve, you get it on the house. <laughs> and you worked that beautifully uh, last night. Well, on occasion. But you, when you think of it, the job Tom Davis did here, not overlooked. A lot of people, including Steve, admire the job he did. And... Just a wonderful guy with a great success story. You see how tough it is to play here mm -hmm. if you're a visitor. Just nine losses. Non-conference. Here's Aikens over the top. He hits Oof. it. Well, if either one of those light it up, the two-point guards for their respective teams, just what an add-on. And the pressure. More pressure on Wrecker. So they're fine on him. Double team. Lewis got a piece. Nice look. Goes off the glass, but Oliver gets a break for Iowa. They come back the other way. A ball's taken Oliver out of the game, forcing the other guard, that being Luke Recker, to bring it up. He gets an open look. He's tough. Recker, trying to work hard. Oliver will fire one up. He hit his first. Hits his second. Two threes. That's impressive. Sure is. He came in shooting just 26%. Five for 19 from the field. Getting his legs under and getting good rotation. Couple of threes tonight. Iowa back to within three. Use Jones. I mean, make Sunderlighter work on him. Fine. Lewis shakes free. Line drive is good. Boy, he's on tonight. Marvin Lewis, the freshman guard out of Germantown, Maryland. And Glenn Worley right up on him, too. Now, look who they're forcing to bring up. Aiken's, been, Aiken's doing a great job taking Al Oliver out of the play in the backcourt. Evans is free. Jones up there to defend. Count it. That's the way to attack, though, Dave. Judgment has to prevail. If you got numbers, you got the people with the power game near the tin, level them. Let me tell you something. Does this young man have a Big Ten body or what? He sure does. The ability to pivot, so important. Our post right here, step across, and watch this power now. Take the hit, and kiss, and get to the line. Iowa football might be asking him to come aboard, huh? That's it. Comes in with outstanding credentials, all-conference, all-region, all-American last year. Coffeyville, Kansas Community College. That one won't go. Rebound Jones lost it. But finds there to bail him out. Two double-doubles. Now, I know you do your research. How did he get the title of the Joker? He's got a great sense of humor. Picked it up in high school. Practical joke. Good Let's sense stay. of humor. Fun guy to be around. Let's stay away from him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Early in the year. He may be able to match line for line with him. Oh, there's an offensive foul. Under control. Austin Lane, the left-hander. 6'4 freshman. Good, solid defensive philosophy. Southwest Missouri, you happen to have Steve a few times there. Same principles. Read, anticipate, help your partner. Ryan Hogan, there's a team foul. Georgia Tech with seven. Pretty Hogan, big. nice look inside. Evans is there. And they get him for the traveling violation. Did he put the ball down first or did he jump first? That I was, was watching Tom Rucker yeah. in the basket. And Steve applauding, so he's not disagreeing with it. But Ryan Hogan something his uncle Kevin Greavy very seldom did. The green. Give it up, give it up around the tin. Uh, Radar's working, it's going up, babe. See, they're not helping. They, he can take advantage of his size and ability. Jones wheeling, goes glass, too strong. Loose ball, finds got to protect. Lane, another lefty strokes from there. All Iowa on that board. Say, Halston teen it up, they are not, they're unabashed when it comes to three. That's the Hewitt philosophy. Teams at Siena. Last few years up close to 90. Hogan's first touch. Can Won't shoot go. though. Gets another look. Lighter. Hogan again. Nice Finds cut. Evans. Wheels. Left. Oh. He got it. Wow. Great individual move, but the cut set it up. Back the other way. If you blink, fine. Draws contact. The right call too. Don't you think? Tom oh, yeah. Rucker right on top of it. Every time you go to the rim, it's almost like playing Duke. And you've got to be concerned, be under control, and make sure you get the angle. But talk about footwork. Fred Astaire, huh, in his heyday. Look at the little quick cut across the lane and the ability to go to the left. Both hands, very pretty. Pete Newell smiling right now, seeing that one, right? Isn't that the truth? That was gorgeous. How many guys has he helped in his day? 
but just the post up was you helped the passer too. Present a lane and now the defense trails you can do some damage. He's fine off to a good start. 60%, 3 for 5, that's now 3 for 6 at the line. More substitutions. Boy, I tell you what, it's like Manhattan phone call. I'm thinking of the hockey uh, where they change <laughs> lines, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Cross the line. It's all just going. Well, some of these guys can change on the fly. I don't know if Courtney can. Uh, Scott, low post presence. Maybe not the speed of others. Michael Eisenhower in there. Fine. Aikens. Run him down for here's fine. He had a uh, big game, 32 points against Wofford. Misses both on this trip. And Iowa can take the lead right here. Brody Boyd, freshman guard from Dudger, Indiana. And look at the ragging out by the half court by Akins, and he can shoot the ball. They're going to have to stay close on Boyd. Don't forget, you're not a college hoops fan unless you have ESPN Full Court, ESPN's college basketball pay-per-view package. You see more than 450 college hoops games at your favorite of your favorite teams and conferences. No matter where you live, folks, take advantage. Call right now your cable company, Direct TV or Dish Network, 1-800-333-DISH. And the fouls ending up quickly. As noted, boy, 2,600 points in high school. A great score. Unreal. <laughs> Three-time captain and MVP. Good look at Brody. First trip to the line this season. 32 points as a senior. That's incredible, isn't it? He reminds you of the uh, Christmas. Yes. <laughs> oh, Scott off the glass. Body's flying. Rejected. Man, oh, man. And 10 Georgia Tech. Wow, a little extra skirmish at the end. Oh, baby. And oh, Good job. nice and easy. TJ nice and easy. TJ, you're supposed to be a peacemaker, not pushing and shoving. The little guy's always in there agitating. When, when, when does a rivalry heat up this fast? That's a first meeting, folks. I honestly Both coach is doing a great job in the faces of their team. And Steve Offer just gave Worley. What for? Let me tell you. We're going to calm down, get everything back under the tent, tied at 16-16 here in Iowa City. My George Duke has the lead. You can see there, Sergio McLean with the drive. Illinois grabs the lead. But the Dukies come back. Jason Williams, the lob, the Carlos Boozer. And Raft, I know you love Carlos. <laughs> You mean to send it in, I'm sure. Absolutely. Oh, is it wild here, though? Dave Sims, Bill Raftery with you here in Iowa City. Regional pride on the line, coach. And, and here, Dave, this is interesting. At the end of this, T.J. Vine, who has nothing to do with it, there's the shove. He didn't get down. He didn't get dirty. He didn't get injured. But part of the difficulty is him expressing himself. And the referees had great control. And this is where Ed Hightower is at his best, I you think. You betcha. But he's got any problem. He addresses it. This is almost like a two teams vying for an NCAA bid. That's and right. you know what? This game will mean something come March. In terms of power rating. Yeah. Absolutely. ACC with a 2-0. Sure. Hey, how about that? Quick release. Brody Boyd showing why he's one of the great shooters. And back the other way in the counter. Attack is Tech. And look how they put you on a disadvantage post-up. Vines, Brooks, Wheeling. He's a little fired up after that stand. It's Lewis. Down low to Jones. And Tom Rucker with a call. It's a little bit too physical. Did you notice big man Alvin Jones? I'm sorry, Dave. Did you notice Scott the first time they doubled? First time they went over. You've got to assist the post defense now because Jones could decimate them. Sean Fine back in. There he plays T.J. Fine. With the pace of the game, I mean, I, I just think Iowa at some point has to pull the plug right and use that half court set. Let's keep an eye on the uh, matchup here to senior against the freshman. That one won't go. Aikens ripped down by Courtney Scott. Well, they got some perimeter shooting on the floor now with Boyd, Hogan, and Wrecker. Iowa on an 8-0 run. All guys lead, 19-16. Wrecker guarded by Lewis. Sold out. Carbo Hawkeye Arena. Luke Wrecker with the bucket. Uh, he'll work. He'll work his guy. Nice step through. He's got size, too, at 6'6". 21-16. Coming up on the 11-minute mark. Down low. Jones had him. Oh, man. And a long away to the spot. Came Jones. Well, the Duckins would set it up. The rest at his size. Impressive, but easy. In a hurry. Iowa back the other way to Scott. Only had Wrecker weak side. Well, they don't match up on Wrecker. Oh, oh, boy. Quick trigger won't go. Rebound Scott. Scott misses. Gets another opportunity. And Boyd runs it down for Iowa. 
corner jump won't go and Akins back for Georgia Tech and find down the floor I mean this is amazing how they'll push they'll rotate people look at this deep post position again nice fucking shot really good That's Robert Brooks they, they freshman got... forward out of Saginaw Michigan 21-20 Iowa Nobody on him. Uh -oh. Wrecker. Stop playing. I mean, he's on our ring from Duke. That's a, that's a layup for him. Now, I've seen him during his career. And th the other day of practice, as good as I've seen him play, I mean, everything was perking. He's very alert, very into his game. Find a good deep shooter as well. Fine. Try to answer. Scott rebound for Iowa. Wrecker. And nothing there. Good judgment has to prevail. Gets a pick. Fires over the top. Rebound goes to Jones. Tech in a hurry. They got numbers. Fine. Good look inside. Brooks lays it up. He beats Scott. Now that jump shot by Luke, that plays into Georgia Tech. Like it's part of the offense, and that's the timeout. The rush shot, all of a sudden the counter. You've got to there make is. them work on the one end. I mean, they woo-woo with the best of them. Absolutely. And I think that the word you use is counter. They've been countering beautifully. And here's inside with Brooks to give Tech down by two here at Iowa. Uh, you know, I, I have... That's all that matters. Uh, that's right. That's all that counts in most of our homes. But, you know, I have a friend up there, Tom Healy in Albany, and they caused these turnovers. I mean, this is just terrific action. But they were, he was a king up there. Now he was down there, and Bobby Crimmins was so well thought of. And the way he dealt with Bobby not being there, that he wants to get the program back to the heyday. And he's got humility. He gets everybody to play, to buy in. I mean, this is going to be a fun year and a fun career. No question. For Dave Brain, Georgia Tech. I saw Dave Brain, the AD for Georgia Tech. He said he got so many calls and letters, he made the right choice. Mm -hmm. And the other thing Dave said, he said he can't wait. I'm not trying to wish time away by any stretch of imagination, but he can't wait until Paul gets, you know, uh, his, his own team, right. of all of his guys, his recruits. Oliver, jumper is off to a good start. His first miss. They really battle for the boards. That's Evans! Boy, he's going to be a legend here. Let's just put it up soft enough and let the big fella go chase it down. Boy. Oh, goodness. He is a classic, classic power forward. And once again, uh, you get shots like this. Dean Oliver with a good look and the Luke Wrecker actually got a piece of it initially, but that was just a tower of strength underneath. I was uh, off the 2-0 start, and Evans in the first two games, 12 boards against Wisconsin-Milwaukee and 15 against Drake, and I think he's headed for double digits again. Yeah, two double-doubles. Coming up this Saturday, a couple of great matchups. Anyway, on ESPN, noon Eastern time, number 25, DePaul, led by Bobby Simmons. He's going to face big man Udonis Haslam and number 10, Florida Gators. And then number one, Duke, Shane Battier and company will be in Philadelphia to take on the 15th-ranked Temple Owls. Center Kevin Light will be a rematch of the preseason NIT championship won by Duke. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Now you remember Marbury, Anderson, etc. Not in four years they met a New Yorker at Georgia Tech. Isn't that amazing? Good penetration. Brooks, a little short. Jones kept it alive. Taken down by Sandler. So Oliver guarded by TJ Vine. Ten people have played here for Tech. Great. Nice ball fake. Wrecker. Soft shot. Won't go. Vines had it. And a foul call. I think Sunderland yeah, had the reach. They got him. Dave, the, the, the move to get free by Luke Wrecker. Just, I mean, he's totally free. He was free on the screen, and he popped out. Then he pump fakes and gets a wonderful look. And a little nickel dimer by the big guy. He like good hard fouls in there. Going after the ball. And... Maybe somebody runs on underneath you, but don't reach in. They got Vines, Lewis, Brooks. They got LeBarry and Alvin Jones on the floor for check right now. Vines with a step. Not got a bounce by Oliver. Slice cut two. He took advantage there of the empty side. They were setting the screen to the box. I was missed its last five from the field. The lead by three. And what, what sort of jammed him up here is as the screener came across, he brought a guy. He saw Sunderlighter come in. Lines fortunate to get that one back. Sean Fine just came in. He was open on the baseline momentarily. Fine. Fine. And they go inside. And say what? Jones 
the way this is going so far, I might be able to make a living against the two big guys. Sondalat is second. Freshman set up in Des Moines, Iowa. And they'll rotate the big bodies, yeah. too. As Jared comes in, the liner 6'11", 255. He's from Trip, South Dakota. Well, you've been there, I'm sure. No, sir. Not even a flyby. <laughs> Well, you know, the AAU teams and the scouting that goes on, people from all over the country, I'm thinking of Miller down in Florida last Honestly. year, now playing with Orlando. Mike? You go, can go to your left and play about 60 games during the summer. Somebody's going to know about it. Fines over the top. Of Fine wide open, and they get Jones on a push off. Tell you what, I thought he had his shirt grab. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. What an attitude. 7.48 to go. First half. <laughs> He said, it's tough for me to push. They had their hands in my pocket. <laughs> you get me change? <laughs> uh, he'll have some change next year. Yeah, you bet. One of the all-time shot blockers. He needs 142 block shots to break. ACC record held by a guy named Kim Duncan. Wake Forest a few years ago. Pretty good player, huh? Sure was. Demina still seems to be doing pretty well for himself, huh? His offense is what's amazing oh, how that's come goodness. along. And here's that list that you alluded to, the guys that just negate. Look at those names, too. G-Man's on there. G-Man, that's got to be an accident. <laughs> got to be a fluke. He, you know, they must have counted the ones he had in practice against his teammates. Gee, Mike Jeminski. And of course, you go back to days at the New Jersey Nets. Yeah. Larry Brown was the coach there. I think G someday is going to be the governor down there. Uh, I, I, I can uh, believe that. First governor with Argyle Sox. <laughs> I make sure next time I see, I'll see him next week, I'll make sure I remind him. Evans got a great soft touch. Of course, he misses that one as I acknowledge the soft touch. Here comes Tech back the other way, down four. Babel's back in. He picked up two quick fouls. Brooks. Here's Akins. A lot of shoving inside. Yeah, that's that slice cut to the box for Babel. Akins, baseline. Good play. Back out, 16 on the shot clock. Coming up on seven. And a half, under seven and a half of that. Good D being applauded by the Hawkeye fans. Six on the shot clock. Fine sees it. Shakes record. Looking for room. Fade away. Oh. And a foul. It's against Georgia Tech. Wow. Not a happy Robert Brooks either. And does that bail him out? Woo. With two seconds left on the shot clock. And already they're responding to Reggie Evans. The student section, they're going crazy here. Carver Hawkeye. I, I think it's such a compliment to solid defense, too. I mean, guys yes, really teed it up. They went all around the perimeter without Jones, nothing down in the block area, all perimeter-oriented. Look, record. Eight for nine at the line coming into tonight's game. 76% from the line during his Indiana days. What an unsettling time for him the last few years. I and mean, just... The tragedy of his girlfriend's accident, her brother, and his ability to, to sort of go to Arizona and then I want to be back home, be in touch with things. Back here at Iowa, 28-22, timeout. Back to Barbara Hawkeye in a moment. Speaking about locking people up, I know you didn't guard too much in your head. Look at the front of the post this last trip to take away the pass. Then play the pass lane, cause the wide pass. Now the front down low by Worley. The constant assistance in here, the motion, the screen. It ends up with a blocked shot, but look at the pick, the illegal pick. And it was a good call. That's yep. what they're trying to clean up. Hank Nichols addressing that. And there's Sam saying, to, you know, I taught you pretty well, Steve. <laughs> a great defensive stop. What a Combo back in Newcastle, Indiana. All everything. How about Tech? Great start. Five for seven. Cool ball. A little bit. Good defense being applied by Oliver and Iowa. Aikens takes it all the way and draws some contact. Didn't get to the line. Nice strong move. Didn't use the right hand though. He's gonna have a layup. Yeah, no, he's, he's a lefty. Another yeah, lefty wearing number three at Georgia yeah, Tech. Yeah. Travis yeah. Best. Kenny Anderson. Right. And, and the ability to get in between defenders, it's so important that you learn how to score with that offhand as they come at you, particularly on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are going to scout this, going to be aware. Akins at the line. His first miss of the season is now four out of five. Stay on the line. How often do you see that? Austin Lane is out, and Lewis, Marvin Lewis, is back in. Marvin had a terrific game. 
against Davidson. Career high 22 points in 28 minutes. Yeah, what a thrill for Jake Kimfrey. And, and Dave, what a thrill for the Georgia Tech kids. When they get on the bus, they know they're going to get a little. They're going right. to have to take a shower. That's a, and they hit three different leading scores so far in this 3 0 season. It'll be Walford, Charleston Southern, and Davidson. And once again, record without the ball. I mean, he's so tough. Now he can elevate because of the size. Five. Yeah, he did. Got it caught on his hip. Once you get down to that corner and the center slides down, you got a back dribble. Back comes Tech, 28-22. Here's that down screen. They ran it from the other side to get final look. America's play. Screen and then screen again. Brooks up top, guarded by the big guy Evans. Right now, no presence inside. Babel was there, and they didn't give it to him. Jones has two fouls, so he's getting a blow right now. This looks like the, the trip they had trouble Absolutely. earlier. Same thing. Terrific job, and they get a little hand check. Henderson and the calls there, against huh? Henderson. There's Henderson out of Detroit, River Rouge High School. Ryan Hogan back in the game. Luke Rector will get a rest. So what Steve has in his arsenal, he surrounds the inside people with shooters. Every time they have to come out, it should open up for the inside people, give them some touches. Owens might be able to do some damage at the other end. Lewis, a real good long-range shooter. Two, USA Today honorable mention, All-American. 18 points last year. Montrose Christian High School. These numbers to this point. Georgia Tech, which started out in the lead, trying to get back in it, trailing by four. And Brooks all over on the inbound. Perfect trap spot there. Good step through by him. Keep it moving. Oliver, Evans. Back up top to Oliver. One of our monitors was out. Technician came over. You heard the I bang. thought he hit you there, there for a second. No, no, no. I would have responded. That's, That's, That's the that. way we do Come things on, at home. I'm from Philly. I would have responded. Come on. And Ryan able to tee it up. Part of the philosophy. Outside. Kick it out, and guys can knock him down. 31-24, Aikens over the top. It's a three. Tony, the lefty. They got his ninth three of the season. Bad foul. Sure was. On Aikens. Not a good one. Not at all. You get a little jacked up after you make the yeah, deep bounce out there. You get a, a little more aggressive and put your team in a little bit of a hole. They need him on the floor, and they need him to run the show. Two pretty good guards there in your picture. Is Dean Oliver staying on. I think it's very important for him to learn how to run an offense. What's a good shot? What's a bad shot? The experience. And take that as he prepares for his future. Wes Henderson is one of four captains on this ball club. Oliver Recker and Jason Smith, the others. And that one won't go. Five out of four out of seven now. T.J. Bynes returns. Akins takes a seat. 31-27. The Iowa lead. Henderson attacks on another. And they give a little token pressure here. Yep. First point for Henderson. Hines. Mabel. Mabel pretty much like his brother Mike. He said UMass graduated last uh, spring. Not going to shoot it a lot from the outside. More of a defensive player. Well, they'd love to get something inside. He's trying to bulk up on the block, but everything's on the perimeter. You bet. I always got to really play the three-point line and force them to go inside. That's right. Jones again on the bench with two for house. Brooks inside. Jump hook won't go. Tip Babel. A foul. Oh, they're saying Babel with the reach wow, down. Huh? his third. Wow. Thought he was clean on that one. Pretty good penetration in the dish. They don't make it. And Paul Ewan not real happy with that one. Great self-control. And right in here, you'll see him coming into your screen. And I guess the left arm, a little bit of a discard. Officials a little better angle yeah. uh, than from where we sit. Chris Paul played at St. John Fisher. Bobby Wieser, former Seton Hall great, Hall of Famer. Well, oh, there's a great name. Yeah, name out of the pit. Now, I didn't see Bobby play. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was seeing you. Uh, I, you know it's coming. <laughs> you know, Tommy Amaker had a, a party at Seton Hall for all the former players, and Wanzer came down, right. amongst many other luminaries. Sure. And it was great to see Bobby. Awfully proud, of course, of what Paul's been able to accomplish. Henderson trying to extend this lead. It's 33-27. Georgia Tech led 11-5 and 14-8. But then once... 
Iowa did a, a good job solving the pressure, and like you said, got into their half court, uh, yeah, turned the game around, plus their defense is picked up. Well, you know, it's tough for players. Should we attack? Should we not attack? We got a two on one. They want to go, uh, but you got to use judgment and use your power, people. Nice athletic play there by Lewis. The Jones play. on the bench with two fouls. So the inside game right now, not much of a factor from Georgia Tech. And look where they're catching the ball, too. Oh, yeah. And automatic switching on the high-low exchanges here. I'll tell you what, if they push him any farther, they're going to be in your lap. Under five to play, under ten on the shot. Nice leave underneath Brooks layup. And nice position as he sealed off. Get it going to the ten. You get dizzy going around that three-point arc. Six for Lewis. Ooh. Evans playing a little bit physical, a nice slip. Reiner goes up, didn't get in the rim. Evans is there. Evans creates his own space. Unbelievable. While well, he's got the shoulders and the strength, they don't get back. They're fine for the layup. Count it and the foul. Boy, you. the counterattacking by Georgia Tech's been outstanding. You mentioned it earlier. Even after makes, you don't get back and in position. You should turn and come to the sideline. What they're not doing well is picking up. Here's the goal, and after this goal, running straight down the floor is not going to cut it unless there's somebody there. Start fanning out on an angle. The ball's coming in on the right side. You've got to get over on fine and don't let him get that angle. From the Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas school. One pass, get it up half court. I mean, that's it. it. Now, that should be stopped. I mean, oh, yeah. That's, but... And most people are just content to applaud maybe the basket That's or right. regale at their success. <laughs> hey, I feel good. I did a good job. I'm on the tape. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, Leo. 36-32, Iowa. 420 to go here. And Dave, here's a little 2-3 look. Watch out for the outside shoes. This, this team can knock them down. Oliver's off to a good start. A lot of contact. I'm telling you, this ACC Big Ten football game going to break out here. We've already had one skirmish. Corner jump won't go. Oh, my goodness. Reiner got hammered. And they're going to stop the play. They're going to clean it up. I don't think there's a foul call. Let's no, see. he didn't. It's just he got bumped and then fell over an ankle. Thing but, I mean, they're letting him play. The one thing, though, Paul, you would notice, the 2-3 zone, only Ryan Hogan is a deep threat out there. Uh, but the physicalness of the play, and the checkouts, the body, the oh, hip little guy, you see that? Oh, my goodness. It was, uh, it was fine, got in there under Reiner. Fine, got under him pretty good. Freshman, welcome to the big time. Yeah, huh? a little hip hugger. A lot different. And I don't mean the attire. <laughs> That's exactly right. Fine. Pulls the trigger. Don't think he Won't got his go. Legs, No, he didn't. Good call. Out of bounds on Tech. It was Robert Brooks knocking it out of bounds. We've got a good one here in Iowa City. Four-point lead for the Hawkeyes. Champions Michigan State. Raff and I will be at the Penn State NC State game. The Crispin brothers are going to be turned loose. Now, if they're as excited as they were against Kentucky, you could spell trouble for State. Wrecker back in the game with Scott Oliver, Evans, and Whirling for Iowa. You've got to stay close to Wrecker. Uh, can't, can't give him those kind of looks. Good reaction. Good cover there by Mike Eisenhower. Wrecker. The ball fade. Wainer, short, oh. and attack. Put back by Evans. Hey, he is always around the rim. Look at they don't get back again, Dave. I mean, this is something that Steve Alford discussed. I mean, you've got to recognize and get the guy, deny the ball, sprint. Got Ken Judd, got Lewis. Working to get free, stepped on the baseline. Turnover, Georgia Tech. Got to get shots. They work hard, they sprint the floor, come up empty, got to get some trips, they're going to try and extend the floor. Paul Hewitt's got a myriad of defenses. Keep this in mind, too. Georgia Tech at 10 team fouls, Iowa at 8. Pressure, and Evans brings it across. And a good read, too. Oh boy, you love your big guys to have that kind of judgment. That's a nice handle, too. Get it to the kingpin. Seven, point guard. Seventh turnover by Georgia Tech. Iowa's got nine. Here's where they, a little, you can hear the bang off the ball. Well, Eisenhower, the Allied commander, he's not, but uh, the little bang across the lane. Uh, Here's some of the uh, scores from tonight. Clemson at home knocks off Northwestern. Wake on the road wins with Robert O'Kelly in his 32nd year at Wake Forest. 
And Illinois by one over Duke. Robert's been there a long time, hasn't he? You're tough. And you know, Murray playing the point has made them last yeah. year turn it around a little bit. <laughs> you're, you're cruel. I mean, the kid's been there forever. He's had a great career. Well, anytime, but I mean, it, anytime a guy plays for right. or gets injured and gets the fifth. Exactly. You know, that, and especially in this day with kids going to high school and all, playing one year in college. I mean, the fact that I applaud him. I say that yes. with, 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 with loving respect and reverence. Absolutely. Good performance tonight. And Jones back in the game. And it's coming up on two and a half. He's got two fouls. Keep that's that in right. mind. And he's got to play within himself. Don't get an offensive foul over the top. Exactly. And he got what he wanted pretty much while he was in there before he picked up the foul. Nice work by Vines to shake free. See that? I'm thinking Jones is on the floor. Why not use him? I mean, uh, shake the vine and give it in. And a turnover. Had an opportunity to score with Scott. Oliver had too much on it. See, now, if, if, if Alvin Jones had a different temperament, he would go over and say, hey, TJ, <laughs> you bring it in to me. That's right. You don't eat to me. Yeah, I mean, I mean why, why am I out here? And they've been struggling on the perimeter. Ooh, got to be careful on those screens. Pause, wasn't it? And look at him down here. Fines. Oh, that's a battle. Evans really is not. And letting him play, too. Evans has not backed off. I like this that. This is defense by Iowa's outstanding as they stand in a play. And they give it to Evans on the small change after all of that. Wow. Oh, they were doing everything but pile drivers out there. Well, he, he could have gotten the ticket for <laughs> hit and run. Uh, they did a lot of uh, hip checking as they went across the lane, and here's the step through that eventually gets the foul, and this is the dislodging. I, I, I see what they're after, uh, but it's interesting, all the screens and bumps that come and nothing detected. You don't have your rib pads on, you could be in trouble. He's a hip pointer before you know it. Yeah. Jones at the line. And this is something in, in talking, Mark Price helped him last year, and he continues to stroke, and he had struggled early in his career. Yeah. You know, 64%, he was 14 for 22 coming in, so he's going to get some touches and some bangs, so if he makes free throws, so he'll help Georgia Tech. That's up some numbers. Still the second, 138, 33, under two to play. Here's Carver Hawkeye. And I like what Paul Ewan's doing. He's got the zone now, and I think he's going to take Jones out after this trip. See if he can get that See if he can play without getting one and maybe get a defensive rebound. And so far, the horse for Iowa's been Evans. He's got 15 points and 11 boards. Right now going against Jones. Jones has to be careful here. Good shoot. Sure enough, Boyd with room. Contact that went down, came out. Scott rebound. Scott with the left hand. Too far underneath for Alvin Jones, but they are using their body to root people out in a legal fashion. Courtney Scott, 6'6", 245, freshman from Jackson, Michigan. Crowd on its feet as we approach a minute. Seven-point lead. Jones, got to be careful. Scott, two Pretty. fouls, jump off. Traveling violation. Turnover, Georgia Tech. I think what Tom Rucker detected was that jump step, and then he leaned with the front foot. And a good move by Paul Hewitt, too. He's applauding his big guy. Not a bad offensive room. Let's see if he does jump hop into the... Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah good yeah, call. Yeah, that was. Well, Tom. 29 the ice, years. The eyes are still good. <laughs> the eyes still have it. Record of Evans. They got numbers. Don't need it, though. Not, not with your big guy making the decision, anyhow. That's a Brody Boyd. Good shooter. He and Oliver in the backcourt for Iowa. Iowa picked about mid-pack in the uh, Big Ten this year. There's Scott. Nice cut. Record so good without the ball. Who's he remind you? If you had an interesting oh. call, we talked about this at the shooter. I said Bradley because of his, the way he did. Oh. There's a turnover. Right to Cliff Warren. And don't forget, 10 turnovers. And don't forget college hoops tonight. John Saunders. And... Digger Phelps coming up with the halftime report. We'll have a report on the Illinois Duke game and more ACC Big Ten challenge and Big East action. A lot hopping there, huh? Yeah, we got to see Eddie Griffin last night. You what a that? performance. You kidding me? 24, 21, and 7 clock shots. Yeah. Incredible. I guess John got the short straw, huh? <laughs> In there with Digger all like that. He'll be nodding his head. Jones. Pitch and catch, fine, over the top, won't go. Rebound, Oliver had a breakout, had record, didn't see him. Got a chance, get the setup, get a follow. And all used it all at the timeout, seven, uh, check that seven point lead with 11.7 seconds to go. Good use to use it or lose it. Yeah. And Steve trying to get what he wants, where he wants it from. 
Just a little bit of regional pride on the line right here, the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Great atmosphere in this building. First time here, this is terrific. Yeah. Maybe a little pressure by you on the inbounds. See if they yeah. shake them up. Don't forget, join Chris Fowler, Kirk Herbstreit, and Lee Corso as they analyze in detail all of the bowl matchups and BCS games on the 2000 Bowl Selection Show. It's coming up this Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget, for more information, log on to ESPN.com. Or a lot to talk about. See what happens with Oklahoma in that Big 12 championship game with Kansas State. You think Miami will be praying for a little oh, bit of an upset? Oh, man. This is what you were talking about. No, the Venus, traffic. the whole thing. ACC Big Ten Challenge presented by 989 Sports here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. I'm Dave Sims with Bill Raftery. And, look, and Georgia Tech had an early couple leads early. Look at all the shooters on the perimeter. Four guys who can knock the deep one down or penetrate. Oliver checks at five. Drives inside. Lost it. And it went out of bounds on Tech. 2.8 to go, so they still got a chance to get something you up. You know, as Dean Oliver got in there, a kick to Ryan Hogan in the corner in an open look, but he just couldn't get the vision. Wrecker, quick this trigger, got hit. Tip again, tip again, and they'll wipe it off. How alert were they? That was outstanding. Oh. Awareness by both Wrecker and Evans, even though Evans did not score on that possession. He's had one heck of a half. Let's take another look at what happened there in the inbounds with 2.8 to go. Well, the most dangerous guy is the inbounder, but look at the reaction defensively. And look at this tip, alert, knowing the buzzer, and almost a little kiss with impact, but negated. Well, Reggie Evans going to make a name for himself here in Iowa. That's our story here. First half in the books. Hawkeyes by seven. John and Digger, it's all yours. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And the official. And Evans did a lot of damage inside. What do you expect here from both of these clubs after the adjustments, particularly after what uh, what happened to Tech early on? I think Tech's going to have to get some touches inside and counter that with Evans' ability, make sure that they get the flash, take him out of that. Look at the movement against a terrific shot blocker, Jones. Negate his ability around the offensive glass. He has just been solid. A nice rotation here, getting to the inside position again as they both attack Reiner. This is just sound philosophy uh, by Iowa. But Georgia Tech get it inside. Here's a turnover out of the gate as Abel makes a cut. Aikens thinks it's a zig. He thinks it's a zag. And that's the way you want to start. Not at all. Turnover number nine for Georgia Tech. Full court pressure by the Yellow Jackets. They beat it. Here's record one man to beat. Evans. Oh, beautiful. Great luck and no charge. Under control. Reggie Evans. He's just racking up some points tonight. Babel did not shoot it first half. Well, you team for Evans. They got a score to get the press set, too. Now, this, I like this. Go inside. Nice step through. Now, there's a little scoop lefty hit, yeah. too, right? Lefty. When you right got the there. guy on your right, don't go back to that strength. Alvin! Throw up a little mixed bag. The push down the floor, just solid by Luke Recker. Draw the D and kick it. Second foul on Reiner. Jones will go to the line. Jones in the first half, 12 minutes, 11 points on five of six shooting. But most of that scoring rap was early on in the first four or five minutes. And he only played the 12 and didn't get as many touches. Uh, you know, they, they, when they he went out of the game, though, they were strictly perimeter. They've got to give him the opportunity for the defense to do something. If he scores, maybe he can draw the double and other people can then step those puppies in for an easy jumper. 13 points for Alvin Jones. 42-35, first 30 seconds here. Half number two got a tip. Oh, look, deflection. Oliver comes away with it. Wrecker attacks. Lays it up with the left hand. Got the roll. And that's the use of the offhand. Make them pay on occasion and then pull it out. Nine points for Wrecker. What a good matchup. Aikens being guarded by Oliver. Aikens throws a big guy. Nice set. He tried to set up Fable. Back comes Henderson. Use of good. Wrecker. Nice extension. Won't go. Reiner there to track it down. Henderson with Reiner, Oliver, Wrecker, and Evans for Iowa. Good denial by Aikens out there. Both teams undefeated coming in. Iowa 2 0. Nice denial. They give Babel a foul. Babel, Babel out oh, of no, I think you're, they went the other way. Reiner with the hold off trying to dislodge Babel. 
34-35 Iowa. A little small change here, but this is what they're trying to correct. A little denial, and they got the full extension there by Reiner. It's interesting, the beginning of halves, I think officials are more apt to call those types of situations. Try to establish yeah, just a pattern. It, clean it up. Uh, right. Like It's a feel as a player, an adjustment as a player, and if you don't make it, then you saddle. And the better the player you are, you adjust quicker, and also, you don't want to get that foul because you want to play. You bet. <laughs> Iowa last season tied for seventh in the Big Ten. Oliver and Henderson, the big starters, coming back. Key additions, this is huge for them. Wrecker and Hogan and Evans. Evans, you've seen what he's done. Hogan, good shooter, and Luke Wrecker. Got All-American potential. Coming off that car accident a year ago. And uh, Evans paying big dividends so far. In each addition, uh, very helpful. The outside shooting and the inside game. The 2-3 zone now. The record is the guy if you're Georgia Tech. you got to know where he is. Great range, off of penetration. They run some screens out top. Reiner tees it up from up top and hits. How about that? Goal tonight. And watching him, watching him yesterday, he's got a feel. Reiner, valedictorian in his class, coming out of Trips out to Dakota. Jones going to try to get another foul. Offensive foul. Nice job by Jared Reiner. I mean, he had him set up. That's where I like the big guy to turn and play once in a while. I mean, it may be theatrical, but now if he turns and is a threat, instead of the bounce, and now it's a give with the left arm, I don't know if it was that much of an impact, but it certainly is the right call. And that's because he didn't turn and be a challenge. And good defensive maneuver. Get away from the guy. He can't read your body weight. Third foul on Jones. Full court pressure. Iowa beats it. Henderson will reset. He didn't get organized. So important. Once in a while, if they give it to you, go to that 10. Wrecker against Fine. Fine, a non-factor. Oliver shoots over the top. Joe, oh, boy. Contact there as Oliver came in. Aikens breaks back the other way for Tech. Oliver just count the chicklets too as he came back. Eisenhower up top. Jones with three fouls. Wheel Pretty. inside. He got fouled. No question. Good call on the hip check. It's a fourth foul on Reiner. Uh, Rich Walker, one of the assistants for Steve Alford. He was teaching him how to hip. Yeah, right there. And, 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 you know, it's one of those things where you got to learn how to do it. Here's the body. And watch this little shove here, this little bang. And he gets it twice. Finally, he gets the call. But on the floor, no shot. Two and a half in here in the second half. Lewis in the game. Fires from up top, and it's good. Well, he is confident, isn't he? Very smooth, too. Marvin Lewis, 40% on the season. He's got 10 points. He's one of those guys that can freeze and deliver. Here's the trap. Too many people should be able to take advantage. Sonderleiter. Fable with the foul. Number four? Yes, indeed. Now, that's when you attack. You see all those numbers in half court? Go strong. Sunderliner's got to be quicker and finish that play and get a chance at the foul line. 46 38. Fable with four fouls. Jones in foul trouble. He's got three. Looks like Jones going to have to go back in. Have a little confusion there at the scorer's table as to who's going to stay in. Getting a free timeout here, Paul. I think that was Fable's fifth, fifth foul. Oh, my goodness. What does that change things? Sure it does. Yeah, they're saying that's five on Babel. That's what it says up on the board. No, you're right. You know, they hit the three at the half. And it's home ball. Yeah, ball the one earlier. Right. What does that change? So he's out at the span. 17-13 mark. Well, that eliminates a lot of pressure defensively. In the full court, in the half court, they're not as physical without him. And this is that reaction. Remember I mentioned the chicklets? Sure. You go in there with the big guys, you better squeeze those teeth a little bit. Mouth guard's a good uh, good thought. <laughs> Sonderleiter. Doesn't get the roll in the second. Jones knocks it out of bounds. Iowa ball. Things rolling for the Hawks. 
Buckeyes, they lead 47-38. They come into this game with the ACC leading in this year's challenge, two wins to nothing. Wake with a win against Michigan. And Clemson knocked off Northwestern. Low scoring, Will Carmody style. Just yeah. don't have the offensive ability yet or the, the understanding. Nice flash by Sunderlighter. Go cross court. There it is, Wrecker. Plenty of time. Got 13 on the shot clock. Boyd, a good shooter. Back to Wrecker. Nobody popped to the foul line. That was open earlier. Now under 10. Looking for Boyd. Pretty. Baseline, Evans. Shooter. Anxious, Wrecker fires in and out. And a rebound goes to Jones. Nice did, you, did you pass that up, that shot Evans had? <laughs> a nice little short corner. Oh, yeah. Inside, Brooks. Turned into trouble. Lewis steps inside. There's that same jump shot right there. The, pretty, the middle game, the lost start of the middle game. That pretty pump fake to set the guy airborne. 12 points. Robert Brooks, seven-point lead for Iowa. And right as you know, a little mix up defensively. And Wilson, Tom Rucker, no hesitation on charge. that one. Easy call. The charge on Dwayne Henderson. You know, there was a mix up defensively there. Brooks thinking man to man. Alvin Jones bails them out with a step baseline. You just see over in the other area, and fortunately, the call goes Alvin's way. You got that right. And this is just a little mix, mix up, and fortunately, the counter. See what Tech can do to cut into this lead. Four minutes in. Iowa at home here. Side pick and roll now. They screen to get him to the box, Jones. See if they wait for him. John Fame has been a non-factor. Aikens oh. takes it all the way to the hall. Jones, continuation. Ooh. No, no, they wiped the goal out, but what a nice little play as Tony gets all the head spinning. That's a well-executed play. Side pick and roll, back screen to get Jones to the box, and then on the penetration, faces and gets the dish. 47-40 as we take another look. The productivity of Tony Aikens getting it done for Georgia Tech. The Illini with the lead, but the big guy in the middle for Duke, Carlos Boozer, into the paint, up with the jumper, dropped it. Duke grabs the lead by one. Dave and Bill. All right, John, thank you very much. Back here at Iowa City, 47-40, Georgia Tech without John Babel, who fouled out. ACC Big Ten Challenge presented by 989 Sports. Here in Iowa City, Dave Sims and Bill Raftery with you. Spirited contest, to say the least. Talked about a conference and regional pride on the line. Aikens way outside. Jones knocked it out of bounds. Iowa ball. Okay, that was a quick jack, I thought. Yeah. I mean, let the big guy in the game a little bit. He's in there. Utilize him. He bailed him out with a good block at the other end. Stepped in. I should say picked up the charge. And once they get it to him, the Iowa big folks have not been able to stop him. Record. Nice job against pressure. Feeds Sunderliner. Contact. Defensive foul. Jones playing with fire. Woo! Jonesy sticking two big body blows for the club. Well, Alvin played for his dad, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. His dad uh, was his coach. His dad played at Gardner Webb when you read the notes. But look at him just stepping in and offering it up. He's done this twice now. Tell well, you, he got the little that. benefit. Seniors get a little break yeah. on occasion. Ain't even nice being around, huh? Step late. Sondelider picks up his third, so Reiner comes back in. He's got four. Jones, the nephew of James Jones, who is a fine running back at Florida and with the Detroit Lions. Uh, a little football running through the veins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His last two plays, he took a charge. Well, I like his attitude this year so far. You know, from tape, uh, they get him involved a little bit. Got a more enthusiasm for the game. Now turn, unless the guy hugs you. Lost control. Turns and shoots. Can't get it. And how about that? Reiner knocked it out of Evans' hand. At least that's what we saw, but Tom Rucker says otherwise. It'll be Iowa ball. Alvin with a soft release, a chance to tip it back in. Just give him an opportunity. Of course, it out of bounds sets up the pressure right away. Paul Ewers easily to get it. Paul gets the call. Paul, Mike Sancier from the other end down near the Iowa bench with the call. Well, they cover the lines. Sure I mean, do. Each referee has those two lines to concentrate on. And this is the pressure. They got a soft shot that was tipped out of bounds, so the defense gets set. And you can see Paul Ewan right on top of his game as an official early. Aikens did a good job. 
There's Lane, Halston Lane. Fine has been a non-factor. Now they've really run out on him, and they're going to play the three-point line. Inside they go to Jones, draws a deuce. There you go. Brooks attacks. Brooks, runner, no. Jones knocked it away. That would be goaltending. Just couldn't uh, catch it. Yeah. But see now, if he touches it, something happens. He drew the double. All of a sudden, they got the open look at the foul line. A little disappointment as Brooks doesn't convert. But the ability around the rim right here, he just misgages this one. If he caught it clean, he could have rearranged it. Oh, nice spin by Oliver. And control at the end. Very nicely done. Here's Evans. Humongous first half. Whirly's open past the bet shot. A nice shape oh, up tough. by Evans. Not an easy catch, huh? Sure wasn't. Inside Evans turns, got fouled. He is way, way too strong for most, just about everybody on that tech team. Well, Halston Lane would agree with you on that particular play, uh, but the ability in the open floor to beat the pressure. The only danger here, Dave, and I, you don't want him spinning into traffic. He really got away with one. They didn't get the close there, uh, but the ability to shape up in the lane. Look at the broad shoulders, able to take the hit, force the issue. Very competitive. Just what you want at the four spot in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. You got the shoulders, you got the booty, you got the... <laughs> Are you an authority on the booty? Well, I carry him. Uh, well, Reasonably yeah. sorry. I don't want to post you up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> ESPN's come up with the ultimate sports fan quiz show. ESPN's two-minute drill joined host Kenny May. Battle of experts extraordinaire every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. For more, log on to ESPN.com. The lead is nine for Iowa. 14-17 to go in the ballgame. Georgia Tech had an early lead, seven points and nine points. It's been all Iowa since then. Brooks, they need to get it to their big man Jones. Turnover, Oliver the other way. Foot race, he's got record with help. Goes up with the definite hand, the left hand, and scores. Smart, make sure he kept the defender in abeyance. Oliver with eight points. Iowa fans on their feet, double figure lead. It's 51 40. You got a dribble drive or get a touch low. Can't fool around with the big jumper. Silence the crowd. At least get to the foul line. Akins. Crowd really making some noise. Timeout. Paul Hewitt wants and gets a timeout to regroup. Nothing being run. Wise use of it. 13.38 to go. And the Big Ten trying to get on the board in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. The ACC up 2-0 coming into this game. And Iowa now with an 11-point lead. Great atmosphere, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Now, this is just an inadvertent turnover of the cut, and in the pass, the big guy didn't touch it, but a good non-foul here. And going right at the rim, so usually you like to use the glass. We think glass would have been blocked, Dave. The breakdown, unfortunately, you don't want to feed a team as easily as this, but you peek over the shoulder and don't slow down. And wisely, Robert Brooks does not. <laughs> well... <laughs> Welcome to Big Ten Country. All right. You're big out here. Didn't know that. 11 points. They checked the websites, huh? I think they know what's going on. Well, you mentioned the ability of Georgia Tech. If they struggle without scoring and can't get their pressure set, they don't get the touches inside. They have some problems on offense. So well, you mentioned one thing that has been huge. Fine hit one of their leading scores. No factor at all. Jonesy. Oh! How about the use of the time by Paul Hewitt? Oh, go in and crush one, big fella. Uh, just a terrific post pass and then the long steps and then the strong send it in. Oh, man, what a <laughs> look on Jones' face. He's got 15. 51-42, record passed it up. Uh, they got right out on him, no good reaction. Uh, steps, yep. Good call beforehand. But Lear has got to shake it up and get the big person ready to rock and roll. How about the post pass as well? And then the strong move to finish the play. He's got to look inside again and use him while he's in there. Best thing they get going for him right now. Good defense by Iowa. Eisenhower looking deep. Jones wants the ball. Eyes wide open. Evan Turns face. Can't get it. No rebounding. Up. Great job by Evans. And Yet another rebound for Evans. He's got 13 boards. Now he shaded and caused problems. Wrecker back out to Oliver. Wrecker. They'll go nuts. In and out. And a foul. Three. 
Boston Lane out of control on your closeout. A three-shot play. Well, right now, inexperience exhibiting himself for, for Paul. And part of each trip is is to be sound. Just look at the shade down there by Evans. Then he releases to rebound. Just a solid effort. He has been magnificent. Protects the ball. Makes sure there's no turnover. No weak side defensive help either. No, no it's it's one. It, he's yeah, just been a man. His, yeah. his guy was high though. Yeah. They okay. lift it so that uh, there wasn't the weak side defense. But Evans shaded down. They're not afraid of the foul line jumper. Tell you what, those are good numbers for a game. Guess what? Twelve and a half to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and record too. I mean, yeah. he's played within the system. Hasn't gotten frustrated. Hasn't forced the issue. And they've played him well this time. Able to draw the D and get great. Right now. Nobody can find it from the outside for Georgia Tech. Great Iowa defense. And they've pretty much broken contact here with the Yellow Jackets. Other Tucker got fouled shooting a three. And Fine coming in. Fine in the first half. Just three points. Total non-factor. Coming off of a career high a couple of games ago against Wofford. In the first game, he had 32. Well, Alvin Jones can be a factor now. If they start doubling or shading, they can put Fine on the same side. So if his guy goes down to drag, he can get a shooter with Jones. And he's got to play and use good judgment. If he doesn't have a good opportunity, find the spot-up guy. 12 points for Luke Recker. As Ryan Hogan comes in for Iowa, number two. Defense premium right now. Henderson trying to fight through his screeners. Lewis up top. Match up here. See what happens with number 11. Fine if they can get him the ball. Jones battling Evans. Great matchup down low. A lot of strength. Great pressure. Akins. 14 on the shot clock. All the way. Gets the lead. Count it. And that's Alvin Jones' basket. Even though he didn't score, he dragged the defense with him. Opened up the lane. Are they, they going to score it? Wonderful penetration. And watch now. The drag defensively by Jones takes Evans out of the play. No support because his concerns the big guy. And the right hand by a long game. Anthony. Tony Jones. I tell you, Aikens, excuse me. Aikens with eight points and a rebound. Three-point play. 56-45. He's got nine. Pressure from Tech. Now they need turnovers right now, Tech. And they, 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 a little bit too harsh there on the coverage by Aikens. He's really fired up, and it's been a heck of a battle tonight, he and Oliver. You notice that each time he's made either a jumper or a play like that, he gets right back, he gets the foul. That's the second time it's exactly happened. Exactly right. So play within yourself. Don't get too excited. Early to inbound for Iowa. They got Jones back, so they've got the shot blocking and picking up the charge ability, so they can gamble out here. Here they come with one and a post up. Nice play by Henderson. Three on two, passed up the jump, and Worley shoots over the top and good. Worley out of Iowa City. He's got four, 58-45 Iowa. Nice handle. It's dead Glenn and Mom. Sharon in the background. Aiken just blows right by Oliver. They get the foul outside. Aikens, boy, he's got some quicks. How about fatigue, maybe? Yeah. Now, that's twice now, the inability to contain. And right away, Brody Boyd up as Dean chasing the little guy, maybe at a sneam. Oliver's going to get a blow. Steve Alford, I'm sure he's, he's been on both sides of that equation during his playing days. Mm -hmm. no, absolutely. And, and you noted earlier today the stamina needed to play against oh, yeah. Georgia Tech. I mean... They're going to come at you the whole game. And conditioning is a big factor in the way he gets his teams ready. Ten points for Aikens. Paul Hewitt with his staff. Got some good ones there. Dean Keener. Closest to your rebound goes to Lewis off the miss. Cliff Warren, who played at Mount St. Mary's. Willie Reed. Get inside. Ten with the triple for Aikens. 56-49. He's got 13. Now you take a deep breath. All of a sudden, they're knocking at the door, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech under first year coach Paul Hewitt. And they're in shape. I was talking to Babel earlier. Said the in shape is this. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Tough shot. How about that guy Jones? And back comes Georgia Tech. And they don't get the pack. Nobody there. Ooh, offensive foul. And he was set up a long time, Henderson, right? 
you got to pull up and shoot it or pull up and look for somebody. But it all started with good defense by Alvin Jones. You know, Evans is going out now. But they've got to use Evans against Jones on the offensive end. Take advantage. 11.07 to go. And a good move by Henderson to take the pop. Iowa leads 56-49. Close boozer. Big underneath. Gets it, sticks it back up and in. And then Mike Dunleavy Jr. is having a terrific game. 21 points. The Illini just knocked in a three, though. They're within four. All right, John. Thank you. A couple of great Hawkeyes. B.J. Armstrong on the left and Ronnie Lester on the right. Ronnie, in 1980, led them for the Final Four with Lou Olson. B.J. picked up Ronnie. several rings, yeah. huh? On the way. Ronnie, of course, with the Lakers and B.J with the Bulls as scouts, so they're coming back, checking things out at the alma mater. And not a good one here on the sure giveaway. Wasn't. Sure wasn't. Fine. Fine with the foul. Tech has already lost two players to fouls, uh, to five fouls. Babel fouled out not three minutes into the second half, and just a couple of minutes ago, Halston Lane fouled out. Uh, you better, and Oliver coming back in. And you better be deep also when you play Georgia Tech. And the rotation so important for Steve Alford. Big guys in particular being tested and rotated. You need a lot of length on the pines. Oliver and Wrecker back in for Iowa. Sunderlander goes to the line. Sean's another big freshman, 6'9", 225. Misses that loose ball, and T.J. Vines takes over for Tech. And they play these two together and they watch some tape. Uh, they can penetrate and make shots, so a little more aggressive style right now. Akins, fine, just cannot get a look. Turns it over. Tipped away, foul on T.J. Vines. He thought he had a steal. Almost. Boy, he was harassing the daylights out of Oliver. And that's what he does. He got Akins, fine, and T.J. in the backcourt. But right here, the nice play by Oliver as he drifts into the passing lane. Once you leave your feet, you're up. And then a nice read there. Vines with a little knick-knack from the rear. Nine team fouls on Tech, seven on Iowa. Both teams in a bonus. Oliver goes to the line. Look at TJ out of Woodstock, Georgia. Is Tech as you expected? Have yeah, you done oh, the Siena games? Man, absolutely. It's like when we did the championship game in the uh, Metro Atlantic Final a couple of years ago. Uh, Paul Hewitt coaching Siena against um, Timmy, uh, Timmy Welch oh, when he Iona. was at Iona. Yeah. And Iona won that game, but it was this kind of game, up and down. You know, you realize you're working with an older guy, don't put me on the spot <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I have those, like that. those laps. <laughs> Senior moment, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Been there. Oh. Oliver makes it 58-49. He's got 10. Lions guarded. Nice Very nicely by Hogan. They go Eisenhower up top. And there you go. Here's the big guy, Jones. He's got 15 and 5. Goes up. Count that. I tell you, he pointed all the way across the lane. He wanted the ball. Started on one box, pointed to the top, rotated all the way underneath. He can be a factor. I mean, changes the defensive scheme. It's tough to root him out because of the big wide body. He's a wonderful target and here. The nice bounce sets the feet. The kiss for the picture. Gets him to the line. Two fouls. Season's underway now. We heard the kiss. Ooh. <laughs> I've had a few without you, you know. Yeah, that's right. Two fouls on Evans. Back rim. Oh, man, they are just all over. Look out. On top. Oh, you know what? Last thing you want is Evans landing on you. And then and Eisenhower jumps on Evans on top. That's that's fake hustle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ike. We don't want Ike on that particular play. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Tom Rucker right what away on would admonish him. I mean, that's, says, what are you doing? You, 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 you always want to go all out, but you have to understand when the play is over or it's off the court, just let it go. And as you noted earlier, this good trio of officials make sure everything's in order. Done a good job keeping order. A little skirmish early in the game, about five minutes in for just joining us. Quickly cleaned up, but they are letting him play to a reasonable amount. Record a 1-3-1. See Aikens in the back? Mm -hmm. uh, they should be able to rebound against him and maybe get a lob if they set it up. Hogan, Scott off his hands. Evans bails him out. Hogan will fire. Line drive, real strong. Little guy, Aikens Pardon rebound. Pardon me. Back the other way. T.J. Vines in a hurry. Sets up for Lewis. He missed step pull-up jump. 
Nice rebound, Luke Rector. Yeah, Lewis with a good look and delivery, though. That's not a bad shot at all. Yeah, he hit one earlier from there. Dean Oliver feeling it. Bang! And Rector with the little quick kickback. 10-point Iowa lead. 13 for Oliver. And they are doing some body banging in there. Evans against he Jones. Met him, he met him early. Didn't he? Up at the foul. That's what yeah. you have to do. Don't let a guy settle. Meet him early. And here's the Eisenhower foul. And I think that's a residual foul. You bet. An impact from the earlier one as he nails Ryan Hogan. 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 Count the teeth, fingers, and everything. Well, Hogan's heroes, huh? <laughs> They'll have a few of them if he makes the jump shot. But this is really one of those easy calls for an official. As you move and throw the shoulder, don't make the ref's job easier. Yeah. Hogan going to the line. Deerfield, Illinois is home. Played 54 games in his career at Kentucky. Is that a ring? Not a bad thing, is it? Rick Pitino and the boys. Saw his mom here earlier. Jill, I'm sure she taught him how to shoot. I don't think Kevin had anything to do with her. <laughs> her brother. Check that. A 98 club. That's a tubby club. Yeah, tubby. That's a tubby club. 62-51 Iowa. Four points for Hogan. Hey, what? Iowa's done a real good job being around the double-figure lead. Nine, ten, eleven points. Fine back in the game. Record just taking him totally out. Akins, harass, gets it to Vines. Shakes free, back rim, rebound, Hogan. Oliver, he got Rector wide open on the other side. Couldn't get it to him. Bodies flying. Still there, they didn't go yet. They got Two go guys play. open weak side, you're right. Hey, harassing Iowa defense. So we're talking about the full play. He finally gets an open look. Huh? Bingo! Rector, he's been waiting for it for the last 30 seconds. He was wide open. 15 for Rector. The 14 point Iowa lead. Some fatigue by Georgia Tech, unable to close out. Big Ten asserting itself by way of the Hawkeyes of Iowa. Vines leads for Jones, lays it in. Clear out. Boy, to get the arms off. Now, a nice play. shake everybody off, huh? Well, the nice play was how they screened to get him underneath, and then the penetration they needed. Shed a few people. 19 points for Jones. Been about it for offense for Georgia Tech. Fine stays at home now. Record always under control tonight. And, and he's, look how active he is. I mean, he drives you crazy. Look at him pop out to get the open look. Got a great look. That's all footwork. Kept alive by Scott. That'll be his foul. Over the top. It is hard to get free, and sometimes when you get yourself that free, there's a smile that you expect to nail it, and sometimes you rush it just a tad. Got a wonderful stroke, though. Iowa comes in 2-0 to beat Wisconsin. Milwaukee in a close game November 19th, 83-79. And a few days ago, they beat Drake in a local contest, 73-71. Hey, you play Georgia Tech, though, you better get a night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Or a few nights sleep before you right. come in. Meanwhile, Georgia Tech 3 0. They beat Wofford 92 49. Charleston Southern 85 62. And Davidson 92 61. All blowouts. Big football game coming up Thursday night in the NFC Central. Detroit a little bit of a roll. Minnesota 10 and 2 trying to break away from the pack. Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time on ESPN. Saw Randy Moss on Thanksgiving. Almost unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Not a bad receiver, not a bad basketball player. That's right. right in high school. He and uh, Jason Williams. He would go to the 10 and Jason would put it up there with right. the icing on it, huh? Seven and a half to go in the ballgame. Well, that would have been a nice slip pass. Sure was. They could use Evans now with Jones out of the game. Too bad to beat him. Got the step, nice catch. Wheels, offensive foul. Uh, a little late, I thought. Evans with a pretty good move and one of those maybe just play on kind of calls and Steve Alford maybe agreed with us, huh? Yeah. With the line, baseline side away from the defense and uh, oh, there it is. Uh, it maybe did clear him a little bit or the intention you, maybe was there. I hate to agree with the officials yeah, I know. like this. <laughs> 7 20 to go. Iowa <laughs> by 11. There's no better time. Indiana, longtime coach, few national championships. Well, when he was relieved of his duties, 
after a long tenure at Indiana. So many people thought it was an absolute layup that Steve Offord would be the guy. But Offord said, back on September 12th, I wish them the very best on that search, but I don't want that search to include me. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it. And to me, that's shades of Joe DiMaggio. If you ever brought up Marilyn Monroe, conversation over, relationship over. So he's going to try to play it like that. How did you get Marilyn Monroe with this story? I like it. Hey, I like come, it. On, come on, come on. I try to please you. Well, you know, he's, you know, replacing a man of that stature would be oh. just incredibly hard. Plus, he came here to build this program in his fashion. You bet. You know, and, and how he wants to get it done. And just put everything to sleep. Just go do your job. Nice play by and he did his job, huh? Kept alive by Oliver. And Georgia Tech in the danger zone right now. Down 11, and the offense isn't going real well for him right now as LeBarry got his hands on it. Ryan up, Lamb, no Jones. And that's the problem. Anything inside now. Reiner with just his second field goal tonight. Here's final. First time in a long time. He's touched it. Puts it up and in. Three-point opportunity. Ooh, and Reiner over there a little bit late. Tried to fake getting the, the charge, but getting to the rim has been rather easy in a lot of ways if they've been using the dribble properly. But here's the penetration and the body search, too. Fine wisely. Nice make, switch. Yeah. Of course, he's one of those guys. Went to Stonehill. Played a lot of AAU basketball in high school. Played with, with Babel. And uh, a guy that's known for his shooting, when you can shoot like fine, you can put it on the floor. And he, he's as well aware as we are that he has not been effective scoring-wise. And his club's you know, really searching right now, the old Lewis and Clark for the offense. And you got to get on the foul line at least, which is part right. of that getting to the rim. But when I say if you can shoot, you can dribble, the point is they're going to close out. And you better learn how to put it yeah, on the floor point. to shake him up. Fourth foul for Reiner. He takes a seat. Gorgeous rotation on the shot for Sean Fine. He's got six. 67-57. They're trying to crack that 10 spot. Oliver, good quicks. A timeout, too. Oh, 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 nicely done. Heads up, huh? But that's one of the excellent, great pressure releases we've seen. I mean, flawless almost, other than the long pass. So, well Steve, all that preparation worked. Exactly. Well prepared. Worked him. And, boy, Duke. Prevails. Was, was that a final? I don't know if that was a final or not. The, that was the was final, final, so 3 nothing. That's wow. ACC 3-zip. What was your take on Duke as we take a look at this timeout? Uh, we saw them against Villanova. Oh, I like it. Heads up play here. Yeah, by Oliver. I tell you what, they're they're not deep before they play. They Because that Horvath was out when we saw them about that's a week, right. 10 days ago. But the six, seven guys know what they're doing. And Horvath, I think Christensen has helped them, too. Yeah. The night that we were there, Battier had to play Bradley a little bit. We'll get back to that. Yeah. ACC Big Ten Challenge. Glad you're with us. It's presented by 989 Sports here in Iowa City. I'm Dave Sims with Bill Raftery. Very, very entertaining contest tonight. Iowa against Georgia Tech. Tech out early. A couple of leads. 11-5, 15-9. Since then, all Iowa. Go inside to get the jumper. Even though Jones is in the game, a tough look. That had interception written all over. Aikens back the other way. Tech needs points in a hurry here. Oh. Aikens takes it all the way home. Right hand. And the defense committed to his left. Wise little move by the point guard. He's got 15. They got it under 10. Here's that pressure. Look Tech up. Minus two players. He fouled out a couple of guys. Babel. One of them in Halston Lane, the other. And they had a quick look for Wrecker. I thought they could have had a layup out of that break. Yeah. Evans in the hole has been a big factor. Over the top is good. Oh, Wide open by Glenn Worley. At that size, able to knock it down. He's got seven. Whew. Six, seven with range. Give Wrecker a lot of credit. Here's Jones back in record. Terrific defense on fine. Can't defense that, though. Evans lets Jones go. Evans has got to take the baseline, get help top side. 21 for Alvin Jones. There's another foul on Tech. One of those you really don't need that distance from the floor. Paul not agreeing with the call. Double bonus in effect, both yeah, clubs. Exactly. Now you're just giving him a chance to get the two. The only thing it does is, is stop the clock. But now if Evans gets base, he's playing high side, and now he goes baseline. If he takes baseline, then he can get some support. Right. This opens the door, and a big fella attacking the tin. Georgia Tech last year lost to Michigan in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, 80 to 77. Iowa lost to Maryland, 83-65.
Ned Duke, one point win. ACC up three nothing. Mm. Sonderlader back in. Worley. Hits and bumps. 72 61. Double digit lead. Lives again. Coming up on five minutes to play. Akins again. Quick step. Gets by Oliver, but lost it. And Oliver showing some quicks the other way. And judgment, too. You know, nothing silly. You got the hammer. Here's Rex. Maybe you were speaking about the hammer. There it is. Knock it down. And that's all composure by Dean Oliver. 18 points for Wrecker. 75-61. Under 440 to play. Lewis over the top for a triple. Timeout, Tech. You like his game. Ooh. I mean, he really, as you mentioned earlier, is Billy the little middle game. He freezes people on the dribble, makes the three, and that time just squares up and knocks it down. They don't go away, Tech. No, they don't. Paul Hewitt wouldn't buy any of that anyway. Oh, no. no. I mean, their attitude has been terrific. This is after Oliver displays a lot of self-control. Right. Nothing. A little knock on well, uh, by Luke. Do you think he's happy to be back playing? Oh, man. It's got to be such a rush for him. And just be able to catch, you know, step into the jumper like that. Perfect rhythm. Good number second half. And the composure he showed because the, the idea of coming in, trying to ring the bell, to do things in a hurry, that's sort of normal. Yeah. But he played within the flow, didn't rush too many things. Defense really closed down at him. And as the game progressed, because he's relentless in his ability to get free, things started to light up for him. Tech gonna have to turn up the pressure another couple of notches here. 75 64, there's your three point story. Straight up man, and then they dragged the double. Tech came in hitting 51%. To 25 for Iowa. There's sunlight in the corner. That would have been a perfect double. Mm -hmm. Let him make the judgment. Worley with Oliver. Oh. Evans, Sandra Leiter, and Rucker on the floor for Iowa. Patience as we approach four minutes to go. 75 64. Eight second shot clock. Sandra Leiter. Rucker's got his feet set. He's calling for it. Three. Man, Oliver hoisted from way back. No iron. Sandra Leiter, that's a. Violation. A violation for sure because it did not get the rim. But Aikens on that weak side at a disadvantage because of his short stature. Steve Hoffert going to talk about it. 3.59 to go. He's got a 75-64 lead. Big Ten Challenge presented by 989 Sports. Iowa leading by 75-64. Three wins tonight so far for the ACC. There's your tote board. 3-0. For the ACC, Wake Forest, Clemson, and Duke coming up with wins tonight. Tomorrow, Purdue, Virginia, UNC, Michigan State, Maryland, Wisconsin, Penn State, and NC State. That's coming up tomorrow. Jones, Wheels, draws a double team. Tech running out of time. Akins. And they get the little dislodge underneath. Sunderlighter uh, lifting the leg. You notice after the timeout, Paul Ewan, right inside. I think down the stretch now, you're going to have to dribble drive quite a bit. Iowa has shown a tendency not to handle guys getting in the lane, right. guys turning the corner, and that should open up either the dribble path or create some passing lanes. Alvin Jones, 61% at the line last year, 63 coming into tonight's game. Tech needs some points here. He's back Lindsay. Steve Alford's done a nice job rotating the big guys. And they don't have great size up front, but the two big kids in the middle have rotated nicely. All right, giving them on. Jared. They're fouling a lot. Yeah. Man, for sure, Reiner's back in. Reiner. Second free throws good. It's a one out of two. 22 for Jones. Always have a bailout behind him, you notice? Yeah. Almost. Look out. Look out. Oh, and a front row and then a big collision as Evans gets up holding his backside. And Jonesy can't get this latch over here, not too far from us, across from Steve Offit. Went into the crowd. Tell you what, he's had enough of Iowa people around him all night. <laughs> yeah, right on a few more. Good hustle by the big guy. Oliver get a, gets a good pick. Record, good look. Bangs it home. Dribble to the gap. Get the squeeze. And he can pull the trigger with the best of them. Yes, he can. 21 for Luke Recker. 
Aiken finds Brooks open. Jones wants it down low. Get it to him. Roll across. Goes up. He got hit. Won't go. Brooks kept it alive. Scrum again. We've seen this tonight. Somebody tried to call a timeout. Well, they get it. I, I don't know this who had control uh, of the Iowa ball. called timeout. But Tom I, Rucker emphatic. I think they're yeah. giving it. Are they giving it to Iowa? Yeah, or I think they, they're giving it to Iowa. Yeah. The Rucker called the timeout. Heck of a play. I don't know if he had the ball to call a timeout. That's the concern I would have. That Jones has got to get a little more spice in there. He, he could have rolled across the lane for the little hook. But here's that driving of the gap. They have a little screen, something Iowa does beautifully. The step up, and how about this? Nylon! By Luke. And here's the, if he went across the lane, no question, you mentioned he may have gotten hit. Uh, let's see if they have full control before. Maybe on the rollout. Well, we're a little bit shut out. I don't know. I think we're in the back, yeah. He at least had a, port, a piece of it. And over here to the left, somebody was calling timeout. Good numbers here. 21 and 17 for the combo now for Evans. Just two here in the second half. And how about Boy, the assist? He, was, he was just unbelievable in the first half. He was tough, and of course, uh, Luke complimenting with the assist. Aikens almost coming up with it. The quickness that he inbounds past. Check that. Evans has four here in the second half. With 13 in the first half. Hit record breaking three. Still a lot of traffic down here. Under so three to play. Oh, and all you got to do is come to the sideline. You got Lewis, Marvin, Closen. Robert just put that foot on the sideline. The finish on record. He had four assists in the first half when they pressured him and he didn't get a whole lot of looks. So that's the playing within yourself. So right now, 2.57 to go. And the ACC staring at a loss tonight. It would be the first with Wake Forest, Clemson, and Duke having won in our three previous games. Good slate of contests tomorrow in this ACC Big Ten Challenge. Purdue, Virginia, and North Carolina playing at Michigan State. Charlie Bell, Marcus Taylor, Zach Randolph for the Spartans, defending national champions. Wisconsin going to throw some serious defense at Maryland. They will. And, you know, it's going to be a good test for Gary. You guys see what's inside, how they bounce back. There, there's a lot there. It's just hanging tough and getting it going. You know, and NC State without one of its better players, Damon Thornton, going to play Penn State, the Crispin Brothers in country. Be a little I agree, too. Tight as free fire <laughs> down there. Fane shoots over, won't go. Rebound. Evans, almost smart. Thought smart. about it. Smart. When but you didn't have to, right? No. We got 14. Pretty good judgment. 15 boards for Evans. A lot of quicks here, huh? Well, also the lift to Jones. Jones. Got hit in the mouth. Trying to play some defense. And that would have been goaltending anyway, because Jones in frustration after getting popped in the nose comes back and hits it back. Yeah, I don't know last year if he would have run back. And you know what I mean? That's Just that, yeah, his, that's his intensity level has heightened somewhat. And that should dictate some good evenings for Georgia Tech. Here's that same play. Oh, he, he got a dirty play. That's not good. I didn't see it. Evans took it out. Oh, 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 Jones. Not a good look. Evans is hurt. He got hit in the neck around the head. Oh, that's yeah, not a Adam's good play. And that's, let's take another look at that. Not, not a good play. I mean, that's you don't get even this way, Alvin. I mean, I know you're frustrated because of the other end. And that was a clean hit. Now watch his left arm now as he turns. Here's the screen they run. Now watch this arm. See that? Oh, that, oh my goodness. That's, I hadn't seen that. That's flagrant. Oh, you're out of yeah, the game. That's the, way, that's the way it should be done. Absolutely. It's a shame the refs missed that because that definitely is a tossable offense. And, and Evans, is, Evans is talking too. Wow. Reggie's chatting with the officials. Oh. That's not the way to play. That's well, not. That'll be the last. Now, Paul won't stand for no, it. Absolutely and not. I, and hopefully, Alvin will not do it again. Ever. Man, oh, man. Now, this I knew, I knew, I had seen contact, but I was blocked out. But this is as blatant as you'll ever see. Yeah, there's that. Oh, arm. my goodness. And as the officials oh, look off it. the basketball, no, no question. And Paul, whether he saw it or not, or the coaches are telling him about it, if they did see it, I'm sure they're telling Paul. You bet. I think somebody over there, they got a good... A better view cool over there. Yeah, they might have matter of fact, right in front of them. Eight points for Ryan. Oh, that was uncalled for. And had some teaching going on right here. Two, old, two minutes to go. 83-65. And 
Seattle has pretty much got this one locked up. LaBarry in to Lewis. Look at Rector. Rector's playing a great game. You can talk all you want about the scoring. Defense has been fabulous. And it will be Iowa ball. Jones going to come back in after catching a... You know, uh, I, I'm thinking to myself, if the officials wanted to, they could have come over Absolutely. and taken a look, but that's how they were unaware. Right. They didn't see it. Yeah. Evans goes out to a huge roar, as does Oliver. 1.47 ago. 18-point lead. And what Alvin has to take out of this is not to do it again, but also if you get a hit on the other end, that's, you know, you're right. denying it wasn't flagrant. No, not at all. Then you just play within it. His was like flagrant times 10. Yes. He got hits in the context of a hustle play. Yeah, correct. And, and the defensive play. Right. Guy trying to front or three-quarter. So the Big Ten is on the board tonight in our ACC. Big Ten Challenge. And, you know, the commissioners can look at that and suspend him. Uh, I got a you feeling know, if, uh, you know, when they're putting, if you're putting odds on it, I would think he's going to get at least a game on that one. If they choose. Fine. Not much of a factor tonight. He got hit. And there's a... Oh, my Reiner. goodness. What happened there? Reiner pulled him down. Not a good play. I didn't see that one. No. I just saw bodies and heard it. Now, he just curled them and, and pulled them down. Not a good play. A freshman play. Come on, guys. Start yeah, playing. Really. Now watch underneath here. Now watch Ryan to spin him out oh, and pull him down. Oh, that's as, that's as uh, bad. Not quite as bad as what Jones well, did. Well, it wasn't certainly, Right. It, it wasn't was a good vicious. basketball. Right. You don't want to teach that. No. And here's the thing. If you're Jones and a new coach, new system and everything, playing in the ACC, there's going to be a little bit of contact down there. Luke Rucker just looking over at both of us with, with the <laughs> tongue hanging that's out. That's right. Saying he can't believe it. No, you're right. Yeah. And then, I mean, then, and Evans, Evans may have put him out for the year with the chest bump there. You know what? I, I tell you what, I see guys do that all the time. Somebody's going to get really hurt. I'd be out for the year. Oh, remember his celebration where a fella hurt his ankle once? Oh, yeah. With, um, uh, I, rem I think it was in a football game. Yeah. Right? I think it was a Bears game. No, no, it wasn't a Bears game, but I remember in a football game yeah. when a guy went up on a Monday night, came down, and he got hurt. How about hurt his ankles? And Reggie Evans, big numbers. 989 sports player of the game 17 and 15 name a program that wouldn't take that over that three double doubles now out of the gate not a bad way to start the year 24 for Jones with 104 to go and Jones goes out of the game and I'll tell you what they got a lot of big battles coming out he's got to learn how to give and take in terms of uh it's all grow, it's all growing up I you mean, bet I, you know, I, I don't know the individual, but just from appearances, he's got nice composure, nice attitude. But it's an experience sometimes when you're trying to do everything to help your team win, and your judgment isn't correct. Lewis to LaBarri. I don't think that's his first shot tonight. Yeah, missed he, it. He he made Scott. So the Big Ten gets one win out of the four games tonight. The Big Ten flag will fly here at Thurber Hawkeye. Big Ten to try to make some more noise tomorrow night. ACC won this series last year, 5-4. to four. Pretty low. Thompson couldn't hold it with 18-9. Purdue, Virginia, North Carolina, Michigan State, Maryland, Wisconsin. The ref will get together for Penn State, NC State, tomorrow night in Raleigh. Aikens the fadeaway. Hot potato, Scott. Oh, well, that'll be talked about. Nice All feed. Just knock it. Pretty nice low. feed. And that'll do it at the buzzer. Big Ten pride shines through here in Iowa as the Big Ten goes one for three, 85-67. Steve Offord and company go to three and out. Georgia Tech to three and one. Take a look at the tote board as we get you ready for tomorrow night's action. The ACC with a big night. The two-game lead heading into game at night two. For Bill Raftery and our entire ESPN crew here in Iowa City, I'm Dave Sims. Up next, John Butchergrass in the NHL tonight. We'll catch you tomorrow night from Raleigh, Penn State, NC State. Part of this challenge has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Good night, everybody. From